Hey guys, happy Sunday. Uh, I normally do my weigh-in and video on Saturdays, but yesterday was an extremely busy day for me. I had friends coming over for a dinner party, so I actually, I did my weigh-in and I did my measurements, but I did not get a chance to do this recording, so I'm doing it on a Sunday. But um, my suggestion would be pick a day and every whatever, Sunday, Saturday, Monday, at the same time, do your measurements, uh, your weight and your measurements, and this way you're actually comparing apples to apples for a full week of progress, hopefully progress. Um, don't weigh in every day. It's not, it's not gonna get you anywhere. Your weight will fluctuate every day. Within a day, it's going to fluctuate. Um, you're probably your lightest in the morning, so weigh in in the morning is probably the best way to go. Um, and this way, you can actually see some progress. If you really are trying and you're really sticking to your goal of getting in shape and losing weight, um, if you give it a week, you're gonna see it. If you give it a day, it can actually change day to day, or it could actually have absolutely no change, and that can be very discouraging. Anyway, this past week, I did lose 1.6 pounds, which is really good. Last week, if you had seen the video, I only lost 0.2 pounds. The week before, my first week in this, um, I actually lost a lot, I lost 2.2 pounds, but I was sick with the flu, so that doesn't really count. Um, the second week, I, worked out a couple of days and I tried to eat healthy, but I really wasn't watching everything. Um, after that first week of only getting 0.2 pounds uh, for the entire week of loss, I got a little annoyed and got motivated. Um, I downloaded a few apps. I'm actually going to post those apps below like I did in the last one um, so that you can, if you want to, download them. They're really easy to follow. One is a meal plan that will give you healthy recipes that are pretty easy to follow. Another one is to track your calories and I'm going to talk about calories in a second. Um, and the third one is more motivational. Um, it will remind you to drink water and it'll remind you to go to the gym and exercise. Um, it also will send you these d daily every few hours or every hour quotes that are motivational. So you can set it to be whatever you want. If you want it to be more often, uh, you can set it that way. I have quotes every four hours because I think that, you know, during the day I start to lose that motivation or I start to get hunger cravings and getting that motivational quote kind of puts me back on track. Um, it doesn't send me quotes in the overnight. You can also set it to stop sending your reminders and other things during the overnight. Anyway, um, so like I said, I lost 1.6 pounds. I actually lost another inch on my waist, which I'm very excited about. And I lost another inch um, under my chest. So basically my back area, which is a problem area for me. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, one thing I'm not happy about, I lost three quarters of an inch on my hips and butt. I don't want to lose there. I want to actually get that nice sculpted booty. So I went out and I purchased um, the Booty Max. It's a, a little expensive in my opinion for being a piece of plastic, but it actually really works. It arrived late last week and I put it together and used it and it basically is resistance training. It's using a band and it shows you a few different exercises, like eight different exercises for your butt. You can also use it for biceps and triceps and your waist. So I tried it. Um, I put it here in my living room in front of my television while I was watching a TV program and went through two sets of 10 reps of each exercise. And I was actually sweating by the end. So it's actually, you know, it's a about $60, um, so it's not cheap, but it folds right up in, back into its box so you can put it away. Um, you could leave it out, I can't, because I have two cats that like to destroy things and they like to scratch at things and has a foam um, foot platform you know, that you stand on and they will destroy that, so I do have to put it away. Um, anyway, but it's going to help me to get that nice sculpted booty. Um, so I said I was going to talk about calories. Basically, your weight, whether you are gaining, losing, or just staying the same, is based on 
the calories you take in versus how many calories you burn. Now, in doing absolutely nothing, if you are laying in bed doing not a thing, you are still burning calories. Your body needs to burn calories in order to stay alive, to pump your blood, to maintain your temperature, to get your lungs to expand and collapse so that you can breathe. Every single thing that your body does just to stay alive is burning calories. While I was sick, I actually I have a, a smartwatch and it actually will measure the calories that I burn during the day. Um, and it measures that basic calorie burn as well. I didn't have my watch on me while I was sick. I had it in its charging cradle and it actually burned 1,218 calories. It's connected to an app that knows my age, my height, my weight, and it calculates what my base calorie burn for the day just to stay alive would be, and that's 1,218 calories. So in order to just stay alive, I should be taking in 1,218 calories if I don't wanna gain weight. Um, I'm not just laying in bed every day, I'm actually moving around, I'm going to the gym, I'm even just, if I don't go to the gym, just going to work, talking, um, eating, going to the restroom, every single thing that you do burns calories, some more than others. So you obviously, if you wanna maintain weight, will be allowed to eat more than 1,218 calories for me or whatever your base would be. Um, what you need to do is to figure out if you wanna lose weight, how many calories you're taking in and how many calories you're burning. Now, these watches are great. You can also go online and figure out everything, like your base calories and what walking around would do, you know, just normal daily activities would burn and how much if you went and you did, you know, an hour of Zumba, how much is that going to burn? If you did um, weightlifting, how much is that going to burn? You can actually go online, Google search it, and you're gonna find that out and you can calculate that as well. You don't need your smartwatch. Um, I like it because it's just so much easier to have my smartwatch smart tell me. Um, and then I use my app to record how much I take in. I was very good last week. Um, I brought breakfast and lunch to work um, and then had a healthy dinner and I had snacks during the day. And my motivation quotes that came from my one app were helpful as well. So that's why I was able to lose some weight. Um, I have to say that even within a day, your weight's gonna fluctuate from morning to evening, from day to day is gonna fluctuate. So like I said, weigh in once a week, Put your scale away, don't look at it, come back to it once a week. But to motivate yourself, maybe do download one of these apps um, that I have below and I'll put in quotes which one is the motivation app. And I wanted to just give you a couple of them. Some are, are motivations and some are tips. Um, one of them is when you feel hungry, go brush your teeth. You brush your teeth and number one, you're not gonna feel as hungry. For some reason, it's gonna make your body think you took something in. Um, but the other thing is, nothing tastes good after you've brushed your teeth. So you brush your teeth and if you wanna go eat something, it's not gonna be yummy tasting. So that's a good way to keep yourself from, from eating. Um, another thing is that a lot of us in the middle of the afternoon, um, after lunch, but before dinner, we start to get hungry. Um, having something healthy is definitely going to give you a lot more energy and curb that appetite so that you're not going to binge when it does come time for dinner. Uh, sometimes people want something crunchy. So you know what? A nice fresh apple is something crunchy. You can pair that with a tablespoon of peanut butter and that's a healthy snack that's not that many calories and it's going to give you something to eat put in your stomach, make you feel less um, hungry and prevent you from binging. Another thing that you could make is to take low fat yogurt um, and add in some cinnamon and I add in a little bit of Truvia and I put it in the freezer um, and it makes kind of like a Froyo. It's not exactly like Froyo but it's so much healthier and so many less calories um, and it'll be a nice afternoon snack. Um, some other things too though, if you go out to dinner, always ask for a doggy bag. 
go in ordering something saying, I'm only going to eat half of that and I'm going to ask for a doggy bag. This way you're not wasting the meal. You have that same meal for lunch the next day um, and you're making sure you're eating less because you can't portion control as well when you go out. Um, another thing that you could do is to double your veggies. So now when you're out and they say, oh, that comes with two sides, don't get the fries. Say, you know what, can I get the mixed vegetables and double it? And then ask them for maybe a little bit of hot sauce or a little bit of soy sauce on the side that you can season your vegetables with. Uh, you don't have to have them slathered in butter, which is really high in calories and not great for your heart. Um, and the other thing that I'm going to end with is write down your goals. I have my little uh, notepad and every day I write something down that motivates me or frustrates me um, and I also track my weight in here and it's good to look back and also when you've reached your goal or goals because you might set multiple goals along the way you can write it in big print and pretty colors and whatever and you can come back when you've look through and you're having a hard day and say hey but you know what at this point I lost this much weight and oh my god it felt so great and you'll remember that and it will motivate you to go forward so I hope you're doing well on your journey I would love to hear from you um, if you have any of your own motivational quotes put them below if you have any suggestions put them below. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact me directly if you don't want to put it below. Um, I'm here for you and I will see you in a week. Bye.